The Bible teaches that marriage is to be a permanent relationship between a man and a woman, freely and totally committed to one another as companions for life. It is on the foundation of the marriage that God created the institution of the family and the home. Brad and Amber, I strongly urge you to build your home together on love. You will share alike in these responsibilities and in the joys in life. When companions share sorrows, the sorrows are cut in half. And when you share in joy, the joy is doubled. Each one of you is to love his wife as himself, and the wife is to respect her husband. So Brad, love Amber as yourself, and be a respectable man to her. And Amber, respect Brad as the, as the man of the house, and be a lovely wife to him. We'll find a way on our own. It is my privilege to pronounce you husband and wife. What therefore God has joined together, let no man separate. Brad, you may kiss your bride. Tell me, am I doing, am I doing all right? I've been thinking about it now. Day and night, day and night. Tell me, can you do it? Can you give me new life? I've been thinking about it now. From this day forward, we wish you all that the world has to offer. We pray for a selfless love that's everlasting and that you never forget the support that you have here today from all of us. Cheers. I'm counting up my sins. Yeah, yeah. I have never known anyone who belongs together more than you two. I am so happy that you both found each other. I wish you both a lifetime of happiness. And cheers to an amazing night and many more to come. I love you both. Congratulations. Tell me, can you do it? Can you give me new life? I've been thinking about it now.